Good morning guys. It is morning indeed, the 3rd of January. I've been playing around with the Arconix ISO.com website and on there we tell you how to build an ISO from scratch, right? The customized Archlinux ISO and it's a tutorial, it's a workflow kind of thing as well over time, two, three years, I don't know how long we've been making tutorials but these days I'm focusing on other Archlinux installers and I've made a nice summary at the top so we can quickly click Elf, Alfie or Elfi, Arch Linux Fast Installer, Archris Ellis, Arch Install from Arch Linux ISO, right? That's new, right? Nobody ever thought this would be becoming, uh, would, would be given to us that we have a guided installation system in Arch Linux, but it is there. Boom. Calum Arch Installer and one, the last one I'm going to make now is the Arch Linux GUI. And the article is ready, the video should be still created. But it's strange that it's not never got in here because we have here the spin-off to so to speak the students who came to look at our code and managed to create their own ISO. And these guys are all spin-offs in some manner, or guided by or helped by, and so on. So self is here are beautiful creations because basically all we do is choose from all the lego pieces that arch linux provides and then say i want to have this i want to have that and make decisions all the time we're, we're all making decisions in life as well here on linux so even after linux right is a spin-off from us brad is one of our x in this time Oh, there is even page two. I should fix that. So more images basically here. Um, for the rest, um, I wanted to scroll down to this one, right? Influenced by the tutorials of. So Demon Killer is one of our visitors on Discord and we tend to help each other. If you find something out or a question about this and that, something technical about installing, we can help each other. So in the meantime, I'm not sure if the website is changed. No, the website is thing, I think is still okay. I've already downloaded something from SourceForge. If that's, um, so I, I've made a video already in here is, is Plasma video. So I thought let's download XFCE. So there are choices here that you can choose because basically <laughs> I keep telling people that we have 30 ISOs, right? Because Actually, we just have one, one ISO. And all the rest is the packages list that change. What pieces of the Lego do you want? Ah, this time I want Mate. This time I want Cinema. This time I want XFCE. And it's just a few words and then everything is um, well installed. So that's the beauty of Arch Linux. All right, enough. Um, let's play, right? Let's play. So, super, oops, that's wrong. Super F7. And Arcris was one of the latest. I'm gonna remove some stuff. Carly can stay. Okay, that's it. Clean up, right? So we're gonna clone ALG for short. And then I've done with the two things. <laughs> so the GUI Plasma, I've already a video about that. So let's make Archlinks GUI XFCE. And let's have a look. I like, of course, this way of installing. Why? Because basically it uses Calamars. It's a graphical installer. One of my preferences is click, 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 and then walk away. I get my coffee, talk to my wife, I come back, everything is installed. That's how it should be, right? So we have options here, FOSS, GPU drivers, or E or TAP, depends. We have a cow space of four gigabyte, driver is free, nouveau mode set, radeon mode set one, and so on. Okay. And the other one is tap. Now it is non-free, you see at the second line, driver is non-free, nouveau is not used, mod pro, blacklist nouveau, nouveau radeon is on, and so on. So this is code you should kind of yeah, 
yeah, you should know it, right? You should have a look at it so you know what you're getting into. And choosing. I did see there were also pure versions. So pure means that you don't change anything, that, that it's not even the wallpaper is changed. It is really not, not touched an Arch Linux installation. It's entirely up to you to change things. But change is time, right? And not everybody has the time to change their operating system. So hence, right, the idea to take something that's already themed and tweaked. Now I need to figure out where is my installer. Often it's just the word install. Install Arch Linux. Right, let's install that. I will start that and then we can have a look around. So welcome to the Arch Linux installer and we have version 3.247-2. Next, Brussels, correct. Belgium, correct, next. Erase disk, all kind of options. No swap is cool. Next. This I'm so used to, right? This is so, yeah, recognizable. And I think that's that's maybe also a selling point for people. If they've been hoping, distro hoping, as uh, so they say, they recognize this. They say, oh, okay, well, click, 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 and they're off. So. ALG, Arch Linux GUI, fine. Ah, take a look at the text. Pure editions, give you stock desktop environment. So basically pure Arch. Do not ship with any extra additional software. So no wallpaper, no icons. The, the, the brown what icon theme is that again. These brown icon themes, which are so beautiful. <laughs> Joking. Let's take this one. Overview, appearance. The Advaita icons are so nice, right? That's the stock look, right? The icons anyway, not the theme and not the wallpaper. So it installs, what do we get? What you see is what you get, right? Settings. So this is pure XFCE, except this one, which is strange but might be still removed later on since I've chosen non uh, chosen free yeah accessories that's a strange icon so nothing well there it is LibreOffice is installed and Firefox is installed and VLC is installed. I am a, all my lovely tools are installed, but this, no, thank you. <laughs> Preferences, right? It's all about choices all the time. No, we can't open that. There it is. Oh no, that's not what I want. I wondered if it was the manage printers thing. The other one, I guess. So this is just a web page. All right. In the meantime, it's installing. So we got a few packages. I mean, this is this is okay. This is certainly not bloated, right? So a word people like to use. It is bloated. It is bloated. You need software guys to serve, to edit things, to play music, play videos, and to write and type. But of course, yeah, they're different choices. So pseudo pacman minus R. To rise is to change the look of something, to theme it.
almost there and we can restart now done it's great right i just could have walked away and everything would be installed boot existing os voila and themed grub It looks much nicer, real metal. It's always VirtualBox. The smaller it is, right? So here is the ISO in there. Don't show me this again. We are, have connection. We have audio mixer. So the powerful control is there. Uh, do we have INC? Control T. Pseudo Pacman minus S INC. I've been playing with. Um, Pipewire these days, made a little script for you guys. Don't tell me Inks is not there. Is that on AOR? Yeah, it might be. And we of course have it on our repos. So yay. How about Trizen? And then the next one, Paru. Oops. Paru. Ah, Paru is there. So, I guess I need to update as well. So Paru Inksy. Just want to check out, there he is, number one. If Pulse Audio Pipewire was installed. Oh, ho, 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 quit. Exclamation mark. Yes. Okay. You can change paru.conf, right? You can change the configuration file, so it does not ask to do that. So what I wanted to know is this. Audio, 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 pulse audio. Okay, so no pipe wire. And then do not disturb the settings, which is actually quite nice, right? Go into the settings, you can have a lot of things. System tray icon is always there. You see something flash here, but I never understood why that is. It's always there. Why do you have a slider? You tell me, guys. Anyway, those um, are the things I would look for. What else? So Paru is there. So let's go over the Packages again. Ah, yeah, NVIDIA. That's what I was had still in mind. Where's NVIDIA? Hopefully and surely it will be gone now. So you can remove things in Calamars. You can say it at the very end, most often, that you say, okay, go to the system of the user and go install this, remove that, change this, change that. That's the time that everything, all the process have finished. Calamaris has created everything, crop and, and such more. So here's the print settings. That's yeah, that's the one I was looking for. And um, and then is the time to remove NVIDIA. And I don't see it, so let's have a type. No, so NVIDIA is gone. Cool. So it's um during live environment that it's there, but then it's gone again. Voila, we know now. So everything is as it should be and this is all great work f12 i'm so in love with my f12 if we could get a drop down menu like this <laughs> and that's what makes the differences right different people make different choices and you end up with a different operating system that's what people think right but it's design it's the outer shell and the outer shell matters and that's the beauty of it. There is no difference in outer shell and windows. Is there a Mac? Pfft, yeah, small changes. But here it can be thorough changes, not only in, in the vision, in the outer shell, but also inside going to Linux, Zen, and, and I don't know what kind of things to go to Pipewire instead of Pulse Audio. I mean, there's so much things that we can change that it, you can really say this is a different car. Right? The outer shell is, is looks great, but 
the inside as well is, is super different than the other one. And that's the fun in Arch Linux. So the, the playground that we're on, the Lego box, Lego pieces that we get, we can switch around and create our own thing. So, Demon Killer, great work. All right, cheers.